Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I've decided to do another pick a card. So, this is going to be for singles, though. So, you're single, you're completely single. You're single, okay? We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to get three piles pile number one, pile number two, pile number three. So, concentrate, pay attention. This is who's coming towards you. So, this is for singles. Who is coming towards you? And we're going to say within the next three weeks. This is going to be my clarifier deck. So, I'm just going to set it over here for a minute. So, yeah, this is your single. You're ready. You're looking, or you're not looking. <laughs> All right, you're probably looking because you're looking for a tarot reading, whatever. We're going to see what comes up. So pile number one, pile number two, pile number three. Who is coming towards you? Who's coming into your life? What can we expect? I'm not going to take that. What can we expect? Pile number one take both of those. Pile number two. What do we got for pile number two? And pile number three. You can only pick one pile. Okay? If you pick two, this is void. Pile number three, two cards. One, two, three. The picture was upside down. <laughs> Pile number one. Oh, two cards. Pile number two. Pile number three. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. Okay, you should be watching this on my channel. So, what do we got? Six cards. Six cards. Pile number. You know what? I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go like this. And I'm gonna pick. Whoops. My hand's in the way. Okay, we're going to go like this. <laughs> Six cards for each one. Damn fingernails. That card. Four, four, and four. 
Okay, we need two more for each one. Now I need a card for number. Well, it will tell me where I need to put it. Right here. Um, pile number one is done. Pile number three is done. Okay, so start looking, start choosing what is it going to be, what pile do you want? Pile number one, is pile number one your choice? Is pile number one your choice? Is this the pile that you want? Who is coming towards you? Who's going to be entering your life? What are their issues? What's it going to be like? Whatever, whatever comes up, comes up, pile number one. Pile number two. What do we got for pile number two? <laughs> is it love? Is this person going to love you? Is this the one? Is the, Who is this person? I mean, the pile number two. Is this, what is this person like? Pile number three. What is it going to be? Pile number three. Who is it? Hmm. One pile and one pile only. If you choose two piles, this reading is not for you. Are you ready? We are going to start with pile number two. One. Okay, I'm going to use this as a clarifier deck. Pile number two. Conflict in defeat, the five of swords. So somebody's running away. <laughs> not a great way. Not a great way to start it out. But we got somebody here that is running away. Running away from something. Getting out. Getting out of here. Um, heart chakra. This is self-love. Doing what they got to do for themselves. So this person is escaping something. This person may have just escaped some sort of egotistical son of a gun okay this person may have just escaped this person may have just gotten away um, this person is healing their heart they're healing they're going through a period of healing they have acted out of self-love so they have decided to leave a situation, you know, because their heart wants love. You know, their heart needs love. They've done it out of self-love. This person is healing. They have been in a situation. Whoever whoever choose number two, you're dealing with a person that is healing. This person, um, well, this even could be you. You could have just gotten out of a something and you're healing, you know. But I really feel like this is the other person because he said who's coming towards you keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations this person is not your usual type okay this person is not this person has a big heart this person has a big heart but they have been in some sort of conflict so whoever you're dealing with has probably escaped some serious um maybe even belittling maybe they were in a relationship where they were belittled where they felt defeated you know this person may have low self-esteem you know they may you know still be healing from uh overbearing overpowering individual who you know this person may have you know they may have fear they may have fear of of opening up because they were belittled, they were hurt, they were, you know, not respected by another person. Sorry, there's a bug on there. Anyway, but this person is healing. So this person is healing. And you need to keep an open mind because this person is not your usual type. They're not your usual type. 
wedding. The situation involves marriage. So this person may have just gotten out of a marriage. They may have just, they may be going through a divorce. They may be going through a separation or this could lead to marriage. It could go either way. Okay. So. Oh, the five of swords again. So we definitely have somebody here who has been defeated. They've been defeated. And they probably now realize that, you know, they were in a false soulmate connection. Because this is your soulmate may differ. This person has reali realized that, you know, who they were with, whoever it was that was belittling them was not the one. They've realized that. They know it now. They've come to some sort of realization. It's like... They're looking for happiness. They don't. They don't want to. They don't want to fight. So be careful. But 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 be careful because this person probably um, whoever is coming towards you. Got to be honest with you. Let me just get the rest of these cards. It may still be hurting. They may be still hurting over their past. They may be. They're not completely healed. They are thinking about going back so be careful be careful whoever picked number two this person may have been married this person may have been married this person may you know not be completely separated or they're separated but they're, they keep thinking about going back maybe they got to prove themselves and this this person is constantly wanting to prove themselves constantly has a point to prove so make sure that you are, you know, your eyes are completely open here. Make sure you use your intuition. Follow your intuition. Make sure that this person is healed. I think this person is still healing. This person is healing, I think, from a previous marriage or a previous commitment. They are healing. They're healing. They're not completely healed, whoever this person is. And they, they're, they're not completely moved on. They're not completely moved on from whoever it was that they're committed to. So I, I, I really got to be honest. Too. I mean, this is a true situation here. People, they, they leap. They, 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 they can't restrain themselves. They go. It's like a rebound thing. So you got to be careful. People, you know, they think, oh, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to find somebody else. And that is what this truly means as well. I can have whoever I want. I don't care who I hurt. I'm running away from you, and I'll just go find somebody else when they haven't healed. So you really need to be, um, you know, open, open your eyes here. Be careful. Be careful because it feels like you're dealing with somebody who may be on the rebound. This person may be coming into your life just on the rebound. They're healing still. They haven't healed. And, and you're really going to need to follow. This guy, this person may have secrets. They may have secrets. Um, you know, they're really not ready to move on from this pre previous commitment. But they got something to prove. They got something to prove to this other person. You know? So just just be really 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 careful um they're they're hoping for the best this person is probably hoping that they that you can help them heal you know they're probably hoping that you know i'm gonna jump into this and i'm just gonna heal overnight well that's not the case that's not the case this person has some bitterness this person has some anger that they are dealing with so you really need to be careful you know, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Be careful. Don't keep repeating the same pattern. Sometimes we choose people who, you know, disempower us because it's what we know. So make sure that you are choosing, you know, wisely. Okay? The person that you are meant to be with, they they are not belittling. They don't hurt you. They listen to you. They work with you. They are completely moved on from their past. You know, if we have somebody here, it's like you have somebody coming towards you that has just experienced a breakup and it's on a, it's on a rebound. And you need to really be careful that you don't keep receding, repeating the same patterns, you know, doing the same things that you've always been doing because you just, you know, you want to have somebody. You know, maybe maybe you have something to prove, you know, that you can find somebody. Be careful. Be really careful. Um, I feel like whoever this, this person is that is coming in, you know, it's a rebound. It's a rebound kind of thing. Um... They're still healing. It's probably sexual. There's probably a sexual energy. Maybe they're just looking to, you know, they think you're very attractive. You know, they may think that you're easy. 
they they may see your beauty and they they are very sexually attracted to you and you know there there's really no love in these cards there's not i feel like this this situation involves marriage has to do with this person who is on the rebound okay i think that this person is trying to prove something to their to their other person that they had to run away from because they didn't want to be held accountable for their actions so you really need to use your intuition. You need to make sure that you are listening to your heart. you got to make sure that you are investing in somebody that is available for love. Because I'm not sure this person is. I think this person is, is, is probably hoping that you can, you know, help them to heal. But they need to heal themselves. They need to, work, they need to find their courage and their strength and their willpower and their discipline, you know, to heal themselves. You know, so I, I feel like we have somebody here that is, is really reluctant to move on from their partner and they're trying to prove a point and they may use you as, you know, that point, that point, you know, I'm going to, you know, they may use you. Okay. So just be really careful. You know, I feel like this person is really hoping for a renewal with the person that they were with. So you're really, they're reluctant to move on. They are. And they're thinking about going back constantly, constantly. I think that they're just like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to go find somebody else to teach this person a lesson. So you really, really, really need to be careful here. Pile number two, you're dealing with somebody who, this person could be a narcissist. I mean, I got it. This person has a big ego. I mean, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. But um, this person has just removed an obstacle. They've just broken free. That's why they've run away. They've just broken free from something that kept them trapped. So it's like, woo, I'm free. You know, so they're like, you know, they're like, woo, I'm going to go find somebody to have sex with. Be careful. Be careful. Don't repeat your old patterns. Ooh, yeah, seizing an opportunity for love. This person is seizing an opportunity, but you notice the cup is empty. It's not really love. It's reversed. So we have somebody here that is, it's, this is very seductive energy. Love heals, hoping to heal. So we got somebody that is hoping to and, and really go and, you know, be lovers with somebody else, but they really don't have love to offer. So you really, really, really need to be careful here. This person is sad over a contract that, you know, they have lost and they're looking to fill the void. So you really, 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 really need to be careful here. You do. See, this person is very curious. They're high energy. They keep looking back at their past. They're upset. They're angry. And at this point, they don't care who they hurt because they're hurting. So it's like they're looking for a new lover. It's like that Pat Benatar song. I'm looking for a lover who won't drive me crazy, who I can basically leave, you know. Oh, God, I haven't heard that song in so long. Um, and then go away. You know, basically have sex and then go away. So be careful. I need a lover who won't drive me crazy. It's just a lover. They're looking for a lover. Because they have uh, been, you know, probably... Somebody ran away. Somebody, you know, ran away from their person because they didn't want to be held accountable for their actions. So you need to be careful. I'm sorry, but that is exactly what this is. Pile number two, you got somebody heading towards you that is not your soulmate. And, and, and you need to be careful. Keep an open mind. This is not your soulmate. It's not. This is a sexual partner who doesn't plan on sticking around. And they will hurt you. They will hurt you. Pile number two. I'm sorry. It is what it is. I'm not going to pretty it all up if it's not. It's just the way it goes. What one are we going to do next? Pile number three. Pile number three. Wisdom. Wisdom. This is the Hierophant. This is inner guidance. 
who was coming could be Taurus. You could have a Taurus coming towards you. Obstacles and challenges. Five of Wands. Yeah, there's an obstacle. There's a challenge. A five five. Uh oh. Five five. So this is this is a major life change right here. You could be headed towards some a big change. There's some sort of tension, though. There is some sort of tension. Whoever this person is, it's like... They're very enlightened. This person um, is very wise. This person could be a healer. This person um, has a divine connection. But there's some sort of obstacle. Playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine and let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So, 55. I wonder if this person is 55. I don't know. Um, I don't know where that came from. Um, this person may be born on 5'5", five five, or they're 55, or some. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said anything like that. Anyhow, um... Don't just allow, just allow it. Be playful. Don't fight it. Try it. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. It could lead to marriage. It could lead to commitment. This person has faith. This person is religious. This person is spiritual. That is coming towards you. This is harvest time. This is something that you probably planted a long time ago, and now it's coming to fruition, okay? This is somebody who's going to want you to give them a chance, and this you're being called to give this person a chance. This person is very attracted to you. They see that you are very powerful. They see they are very, very attracted. They see that you are abundant, that this person is is also abundant this person is very self-sufficient this person is very wise this person is very spiritual this person is has a jesus consciousness about them whoever this person is they are very enlightened this person um is very valuable this person knows their value this person sees your value this person has traveled a long journey. They could be at a distance. This person could be at a distance. This person um, has a very strong uh, character, uh, a good character. This person's character is, it, he's, this is a good character, okay? This person um, really knows who they are. This person isn't isn't in a state of suspension anymore. They're not in a state of limbo. They're not confused. They're highly aware. This person is wide awake, wide, wide, wide awake. Okay, they 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 have a they have a they're conscious. Okay, they're conscious. They 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 and, and they're in tune with their subconscious. Okay, this person has a divine connection. Whoever this person that is coming towards you has a divine connection. They they um see things that, that other people don't see. This person is very unique. They could have a, a psychic ability even, whoever this person is. This person is very unique. This person um, has a lot of life experience. This person has money. This person is abundant. This person is self-sufficient. This person thinks before they act. This person sees you as very powerful. They see you as a force to be reckoned with. They see you as very sexy. They want you to give them a chance. They are probably afar. So I think this person, there may be a distance. There may be a distance. And there's probably been a delay in arrival. There's been some sort of delay in this person coming. But I feel like it's time. I think it's time. It's harvest time. It's, it's, this person is coming soon. Very soon. Um... 
this person is definitely awake and this is this is you you just let it go just let it don't you don't there's nothing you don't need to do a thing you don't need to do a thing just trust and believe and have faith and 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 have fun with this person because i feel like whoever this person is you're on the same level you are on the same level you're on the same spiritual path it's like the it's almost like there's you 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 know you know each other you know what i mean so whoever this person is what is this obstacle here we need to clarify that there could be another woman okay there could this is an obstacles in the way obstacles and challenges competition and then we ha have this woman here um but this guy's turning his back on this woman turning i don't know um let's clarify this five of wands there's tension there's tension conflict Maybe some fear. It could be fear of attachment. Could be fear of of marriage, fear of commitment. You know, this person may be fearful of commitment. Because this is the master of non attachment, and this is the hermit, which is a loner loner, and this is the Hierophant card, which is commitment, and this is the obstacle and the challenge. So it feels like we have somebody here that is fearful of commitment. But they're very attracted. The star. Hope. Renewal. Inspiration. Divine connection. This is a blessing. This is a dream come true. Heaven sent. So somebody is receiving. It's like they're coming together. They're coming together with their... This, this is a wish being granted. Okay, this is a wish being granted. They may see it. They may see that this is a bright opportunity. It's too, you know, the, such a high vibration. You know, it's so connected. Nine of Rods, avoiding challenge, avoiding commitment, avoiding, um, there's fear. There's fear of commitment here. Okay, there is. There's definitely fear of commitment. There's fear of you know, giving up independence. So this person that is coming towards you, and this could be you. This could be you. We have a very independent person here, very independent, who may be fearful. This person may be fearful of giving up their independence. That go don't don't try to control it. Whatever is meant to be is meant to be. We could have a Taurus or a Virgo. We have Taurus. We have Virgo. We have Aquarius. We have. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Pisces. You know, we have this person that really is is doesn't want to deal with any challenge. So, but you're being called to let go of the control issues and just allow. Maybe give this person a chance because there's there's a there's a, a common theme here. It's like you do have a lot of. Um, you're very. Oh, I can't. I'm going blank here. You are. You have a lot of things in common. Okay, you're both very spiritual. You both vibrate on a high level. You both. Uh, it's like this is this is meant to be. It feels like this is meant to be. But you gotta you gotta allow it. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Don't fight it because of your fear of giving up your pen independence. Don't fight it because, you know, uh, they're not moving very fast. This isn't going to happen overnight. By the way. This is a slow thing. This is getting to know each other. And I don't need the card. This is, you know, allowing it to happen. And it will lead to commitment, but it's going to take some time. I feel like this is somebody that you invested in or somebody that you dealt with a long time ago. And now it's time to, you know, see what happens. So I don't feel like this is a past love connection. I don't see that at all. I think this is somebody brand new um, that you should give a chance to. I think this person, it, it could really lead to extreme happiness. It could lead to, you know, marriage, commitment, wish fulfillment. But you're going to have to trust, and this is lack of trust. You're going to have to have faith. You know, whoever this person is that is coming forward, this person is is 
totally enlightened. I mean, this person is wide awake. They have their connection. They know of their connection. And they see yours as well. And that's one of your common factors, okay? You both are vibrating on the same level. So that's good. That's good. But you may, you both may try to fight it because of your independence. You know? So... I had to I had to switch batteries, so I do apologize. But um, I was saying that you you both are kind of not wanting to give up your independence, okay? Um, but the connection is so real. The connection is so meant to be, okay? This is an opportunity to have it all. And I feel like this person has been in hiding. This person has been in hiding, okay? This person has been isolating themselves. The person that is coming towards you. Okay, this person is, is, is right around the corner, okay? This is the person that is coming. Whoever is coming, this person is wise. This person is enlightened. And they, they've been isolating themselves. They've been detached. They've been detached from the world. They've been detached from mingling okay they've been detached from looking they haven't been looking they've been going within they've been discovering themselves they've been going through their awakening so i feel like this person now has decided you know it's time it's it's time for me to you know harvest it's time for me to pick it's time for me to relocate or it's time for me to go after you know what is available to me, it's time for me to look, it's time for me to put myself out there, it's time for me to come out of hiding, you know, it's time for me to, to open up. So we have somebody here that is now ready, they've done their work, they've done their inner work. And they're ready for happiness, they're ready for love, they're ready, they're ready. This person has that divine connection. And I think that they they will feel you, you know, they will feel your divine connection. It's just beautiful. And you can expect the unexpected because I feel like this person is not your usual type. This person isn't, but you'll feel the connection. I think that you're going this is this is being brought to you from above. This is this could even be a past life connection. I may have already said that, whatever. Um This person is coming very, 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 very soon. It's like they're almost here. Four of Swords. Four of Swords reversed. Done. Done taking a break. This person has already been enlightened, okay? There's no... They already know what they know. They already know. They know it's time. It, their time of rest is over. Their time of... You know, they're done. They're done resting. They're ready. This person is ready. Five of rods reversed. Five of... Yeah, they're ready to come out of conflict. They're ready to let go of the tension. They're ready to put themselves out there. They're reluctant. They're reluctant to do so, but they're ready. You know what I mean? There is reluctance. And you are going to need to be patient with this person. Because it's this person is so wise, you know, they're not the kind that is just going to jump. This person isn't going to want to just jump right into bed with you. This person is not going to just want to leap into a commitment. This person is so wise that they know better. But this is something long term, okay? This is something that could really last and lead to, <laughs> you know, a dream. This is a dream come true. Don't try to control it. Let it happen. Just let it happen. That was pile number three that I just did. Now we're going to do pile number one. Pile number one. Third eye chakra. This is, I know, this is a source of wisdom. This is higher consciousness. Fulfillment of wishes, nine of cups. Nine of cups. So we have somebody here that is about to have a wish fulfilled. 
in pile number one. They may see it coming. You may know, you may know that this is one. You could be dealing with a cancer. You could have a cancer coming into you. See the 69? Anyway, you could have a cancer coming into your life. But this is, a, this is somebody who is very spiritual. Okay, this person is spiritual. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Who is this person? Pile number one. You got to be careful, okay? Be careful because there could there could be some sort of deception here. There could be. I'm just wondering if somebody you may you may sense that this person is deceptive. They may come to you. If I'm just being honest, I got to be honest with you. They may come to you as a dream come true. They may come to you as a wish. They may be like I'm everything you ever looked you were ever looking for. Okay. This person may be deceptive. You've got to be careful. You've got to be careful. I mean, you do. You do. So let's see what we got here. Nine of Cups again. So this is wish fulfillment. Page of Pentacles. New prospect, new path opening up. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Cancer. Uh-oh. Ace of Cups reversed. Uh... Seven of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. You know, you got to, you know, I, I, I have to be honest with you, you, for pile number one, you may sense, you may sense that you are dealing with somebody that is deceptive, okay? You probably have somebody coming towards you that they're coming with some big offer. Okay, look at the look on this guy's face, okay? I don't know if you can see it very good with this camera. It doesn't zoom in well. I don't know how to set it up. But anyhow, I'm going to look at it. I'm going to read the book sometime soon. Anyway, this guy, this person is uncertain. Very uncertain. It's like, I got this big offer, but I'm not so sure about it. Okay? So you might want to be very careful, pile number one. You might want to explore your options. It looks like you've got somebody here that may come towards you and present you with a whole lot of love. And this is the honeymoon phase, right? It's the honeymoon phase. Or that, you know, you've got to be really, really careful because it looks like this person doesn't really know what they're doing. They don't. If you look at the uncertainty on this person's face, it's like, I got this for you. I got this big opportunity for you, but... I'm not sure it's, I even want to go down that road. I'm really not sure about it. This person is really, really, really not sure. You can't see with the camera. There you go. Look at the look. Not really sure. This person is uncertain. So you you got to, this person is like, hmm. Whoever is coming towards you, they're going to present to you as... <laughs> You know, the epitome of love. This person is going to come to you and they're going to be like, oh, I'm, they're going to be, they're going to woo you. They're going to sweep you off. You're going to wine and dine you. Okay. They're probably going to try to get you drunk. You know, they're going to, they're going to, they're they probably will use that kind of thing. This person is deceptive. It's not really love. Okay. It's not going to, it's not, and you, you know, you're going to have to really use your intuition here. You may see it, you may know it, but you may deny it because it feels so good. This person is very cunning, okay? This person is very cunning. This person, um... Knows exactly what they're doing, so be careful. You have other options. You have other options. Be careful what you accept into your life because it looks like you're dealing with an immature individual who is going to present you with something so good. You know, it's going to look so good. But they really don't have any follow-through. I don't think they have any follow-through. And I think that you're going to see the truth. I think you're going to know the truth. I think you are going to know it. And I think you're going to know the truth pretty quickly, okay? But you may be confused because this is a fantasy. This is a fantasy. It's, it's, it feels good. It feels really, really, really good. Okay? This person is going to give to you. They're going to give to you. They're going to present themselves as honest and truthful, but it's not love. Okay, there's deception here. And I know that a lot of you guys don't want to hear that because you see these good cards. 
That's part of deception. That's what deception is. It looks good. It looks really good. But it's not. Okay? So you got to be be careful what you own owns you. If you don't choose wisely, you will get exactly what you deserve. So you got to be careful. You make sure that you are wide awake here. Make sure that you are seeing the truth. Make sure that you are being honest with yourself. I feel like you have somebody that is going to come towards you and they're going to invite you on a trip. They're going to invite you for a weekend getaway. They're going to invite you to go somewhere. They're going to wine you and dine you. They're going to they're going to woo you. They're going to make love to you and it's not going to go anywhere. There's something you don't know. This person has a mask on. There's something you don't know about this person. But damn, it feels good. And damn, it looks good. But it doesn't lead to emotional happiness. So you got to be careful, pile number one. Um, what is this? This, this isn't going to be love, okay? Okay, this person is not telling you the whole truth. Two of Cups, Two of Cups, Ace of Cups reversed. Pile number one, you got somebody coming towards you that really doesn't have love to offer, but they're going to present you with a golden... They might even give you gifts, okay? And this is all based on probably a third... There's three people here. A third party situation, okay? This person may be in love with somebody else, okay? Um, this person may have somebody else. They may think that you're not awake. They probably think that you're not awake. They probably do think that. They probably think that they can woo you because, you know. Ten of Pentacles, it doesn't lead to happily ever after. It doesn't lead to stability. It doesn't lead to anything solid. This person probably maybe got kicked out of their home or they're going through, they're having relationship problems with their partner at home, you know, with their wife or their husband, you know. They got kicked out recently, and they're looking for that rebound as well. It doesn't lead to love. It doesn't, but it does look good, and it feels good. And it's a, it, they're going to present you present you with something that is a complete illusion. It's an illusion. And you may misjudge the situation because you refuse to wake up. You, you're, you're refusing to see it. You know, you may not be awake. You don't want to see it. You don't want to believe it. Misjudging a situation, not making the right judgment call. You may not make the right judgment call because this person, they are extravagant. They are. They are gonna give you gifts. They are gonna wine and dine you. They're gonna they're gonna make you feel so good and that's gonna cause you to make the wrong judgment call. So you're gonna have to be careful. This person, um there's really no chance of it working out. There's not because this person really is immature. This person really doesn't have any follow through. This person has probably just been released from their ex or from somebody else. And they're still engaged with that person, you know. Seven of wands. Seven of wands reversed. It's unrealistic. It is unrealistic. This person is trying to prove something. You may end up feeling like you're being attacked by this person in the end. You know, this person is very defensive. <laughs> you need to protect yourself. You need to defend yourself. You need to protect yourself from this person. I'm telling you what. Four of Pentacles. This person is stubborn. This person is a miser. This person is still holding on to somebody else. So pile number one. Somebody is coming towards you that is still holding on to probably somebody that released them. They're not ready for love. So if you're just looking to have a good time, then great. This is good. But if you're looking for a commitment, 
I wouldn't waste your time with this individual. This person has not released. This person is still holding on to the past commitment. It's unrealistic. This person is trying to prove something. This person is, is trying to um, basically probably prove to themselves or prove to the world or prove to everybody else that he doesn't, he or she doesn't need to, you know. Heal, you know, I'm good. I don't feel any pain. Whoever this person is that's coming towards you, they have just experienced a, some sort of breakup and they are not emotionally available for love. But they can pretend. They can pretend with the best of them. And they are going to pretend. And in the end, you're going to be walking on eggshells. Because in all reality, in all reality, this person is still hanging on to what they had. Yeah, they just don't want to be alone. They're unstable. They, they, they're insecure. Nine of Pentacles reversed. You will never complete them because they're still holding on to somebody else. So pile number one, you got somebody coming towards you that has is still invested in somebody from that they had a home with, somebody that they lived with. They haven't healed, they haven't given themselves time to heal. Right now they just want to have it all. They want to go out and have fun. They're not looking for anything stable. They may tell you that they are, but they have no follow through. They're still holding on to their old stability. They are. They haven't even released that yet. And I think that you will know the truth. I think that you will see the truth right away. I do. But because this looks so good and it feels so good that you're going to go down that road and I think you're going to get hurt. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to happen. There's not going to be any growth. It's unrealistic. It's not practical. It's dissatisfying. Because this person has not, will not, has not let go of the other person. So if somebody comes into your life, pile number one, and they have just been through a breakup and they haven't given themselves time to heal, just say no. Just say no, you haven't given my, you haven't, you haven't healed. Otherwise you're going to get hurt. Look at the sadness. You're going to end up sad. You're going to, you're going to wish you are going to wish that you didn't get involved because this person has a period of healing that they need to go through. And two months is enough time. Three months is enough time to heal. It takes years to heal. And that's the reality. So pile number three, we have somebody that he is going to make a wrong judgment call because it looks good. And they're going to get themselves into a third party situation with somebody who says that they're available, but they're not. Be careful. What you own owns you. Don't allow yourself to get involved in a fantasy because it looks good. Make sure your eyes are wide open and make sure you are discerning and make sure that you are looking below the surface. This person is going to try to buy you even. They're going to bring you gifts, do whatever.
but it doesn't lead to anything. It doesn't lead to anything stable. It doesn't lead to love. It doesn't lead to a partnership. Nothing long term. And that's what I see. You've got to be careful. Choose wisely. You have, Don't put all your eggs in one basket. You have other options. You have other options. And perhaps this person has other options as well. Somebody has other options. Several. So you probably are dealing with a Cancer, a Scorpio, a Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And that is what I see. Be careful. Be careful. This is going to lead to discontent. Sadness. Boredom. Not receiving attention. This person is not going to give you the attention you deserve. Because they're focused on somebody else. You're going to have to be discerning. Sorry about that. It is what it is. Good luck.